mechanism whose activities are monitored by a committee under the chairmanship of the vice-chancellor. It is the quality of the knowledge that really counts. Anne here thinks this quality assurance has paid off. I think in the whole of East and Central Africa, Sogo University offers the best low course ever with competent and qualified lecturers. We have a world-class library and I think that the future of lawyers in East and Central Africa will be dictated by Busoga University law students. Slowly, the university has transformed the socio-economic landscape of the surrounding area. Go to our marketplaces and all these things, they are full of foreign students or international students going to buy these people's fruits, food stuff. But all these students are housed by individual members of the local community. They are getting money from that. It has also employed quite a number of people uh, within the local communities here. That is also an achievement. Even with this steady growth, the university is faced with some challenges. The university requires tremendous infrastructural transformation to suit the ever-growing student enrollment. It has been rather difficult for us to match infrastructure and facilities with the student enrollment. That is one challenge. The other challenge is that Busoga University depends almost entirely on student tuition and fees. This is not sustainable. However, the future is bright. Already, the university has a clear plan for additional physical infrastructure to cope with the increased demand for more lecture space and students' accommodation. Plans to introduce an FM radio station are underway. This will enable the university to reach out to the community and also offer the mass communication students exposure to professional development. All these are in line with the university's mission and vision. The vision of the university is to become a center of academic excellence and an agent of social and economic development of the region and the country as a whole. This is enhanced by its mission to provide suitable avenues and the environment that facilitates the community to participate in higher learning, education, training and research for development. It is a community-based university, therefore the reason as to why it was established was to serve the individual needs of the members of the community. And that is why even the courses we offer at the university are demand-driven courses, which means that by the time one graduates from Soga University, he or she is not going to look for a job. The job is already there because what we do, we establish where a gap is and we come in to fill that gap. And even as we teach our students, we make sure we meet the individual needs to the best of their satisfaction. Those of you who share the ideals of Wosoga University are called on to be part of this noble cause of nurturing this young but growing institution. The, the university has prepared me fully to be able not only to work as a Kenyan professional, but I, I will also be able to, uh, to have I have qualifications that will enable me to work in the East African market. It's easy to at least do my course. And compared to Kenya, at least I could afford the universities are relatively cheaper in terms of school fees. What motivated me to come to Busoga University is because of its diversity and how the value of education here is a little bit higher than the one we offered in Kenya. You will find that even teachers here have uh, contact with the students. But in other universities, they, they teach with uh, projectors and whatever. You'll never see, you'll never be seeing your lecturer there, but you never talk to him. Compared to the universities in our place, uh, some of them do not offer such education as here. Uh, Soga University is a university with a difference. Be a partner with Soga University and make that difference.